time to pretend like we're like, you know, heavy workout people at 6 a.m. What's up and welcome back to day seven and eight of the cruise. So this is the end, but we've got some exciting stuff to finish off. So I hope you guys enjoy. Now, as you guys know, Roy invites us on these trips to be able to capture content for them. This morning, we woke up super early at 6 a.m. to get some shots while the sun was rising and the crowds were low. And after running, you need a uh, nice soak. So we're here in the solarium. This is the adults only section of the ship. Obviously at 6 a.m. there's nobody really up here. We've got some nice, you know, sunrise light coming through. Hopefully get some decent shots. It's 8 a.m. I feel like I've lived half of a day already. I've, I, yeah, I sat in the hot tub, I've gone for a run, and now we're all the flow riders. Oh my goodness. Private flow rider time, gonna be amazing. Doesn't get better been surfing out at sea. So Chelsea's up there. We're about to have some flow rider time. You guys can't say anything, but if you remember a couple days ago, Chelsea mentioned how she would love to like get a massage and we joked about how we were gonna do it. Before coming up here, I stopped and I booked us a 75 minute couples hot stone massage. So she's gonna be very happy tomorrow. Nice job, guys. Killing got, it. got the shots. <laughs> so since it's less than ideal outside, which by the way, the captain did say tomorrow should be a lot nicer. We're taking this time to get a little bit of work done, and then in about 30 minutes, we have some private time here at Giovanni's Wine Bar. I know, you know, 11.30 a.m., private time, wine, totally not gonna drink it. It's, <laughs> our, our life is really hard here on board. Paige is shooting this way. We've got people up at the bar. We're chilling at the table, you know, just doing things, we're waiting for wine coming. Uh, little did people know that we're actually watching our cat at daycare. <laughs> They've been trying to get a decent picture of Bella and she's just she's not, not having it. Having she was out playing and the, the camera lady came in and she immediately ran back up into her kennel. <laughs> Look at her, she's coming back out after the lady left. <laughs> Cafe 270. Ah, uh, look at this sandwich. Look, look at the moistness of that beef right there. The spicy mustard on there. Oh yeah, look at that moist beef all up in there. Well, this didn't. Okay, We're, this is supposed to be like you know an ad for Royal Caribbean, right? Like they hired us to come here and you're looking like that. Huh? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Talking with your mouth full. Custom chopped salads. Okay, well that's my fork. My fork is on the ground. We'll see you guys after lunch. A quick change. Oh my gosh, it's so insane. We like, we change clothes probably eight times a day. And I'm not exaggerating it's with eight. Wild. You have to be dry, you have to be wet, you need a swimsuit, you need pants, you need clothes, clothes shoes, you need something nice to wear to dinner, you need something nice to wear to lunch, you have to have a cover up on. Like obviously the last thing we did was the Giovanni's wine bar photo shoot. And like we're, you know, you've got to look nice. It's kind of a, I mean, you're on vacation, you can't be too nice, but it's a little bit more upscale. The, the, you know, the photos want to look like that. So we've got to be in that. Then we went to lunch. Now we're going to come back, change into athletic gear to be able to go to the sky pad, which I'm really excited about, by the yeah. way. It's going to be so much fun. And then from there, we're going to have to go back to nice, but even nicer because we're going to Wonderland, which is like the craziest dining experience that Royal Caribbean has to offer. It's going to be so good. It's going to look so good. Can't wait to show you guys what it's all about. But uh, for now, to the sky pad. Speaking of sky pad, we're a little bit late, so we got to hustle. So this right here is, that's that's our boss. That's Chris, the guy in the Royal Caribbean robe. He's filming a TikTok and he's already complaining that he's too hot. No, like, this, this, is, this is just what he does. That's, that's, that's Chris. <laughs> if we ever get in trouble, that's who we answer to. And obviously the rules are pretty lax. <laughs> this thing is so amazing. There's nothing like this. So you I've can- I've never done it in the day. But yeah, we've always done it at night. You can you can do it just straight jumping. You can't do tricks, you can't flip or anything like that, but you can just jump. Or there are VR headsets they can put on you and you play games. This is just the most unique attraction at sea. It's so cool. 
I can't think of anything else like it. You said what? I'm so tired. No, we, we gotta get the shots. You gotta keep going. She, no, no, not at all. We need more. No, we need more. We need like 10 more minutes of shots. I'm sorry. She's been going for like eight minutes now. We're getting it on all sorts of cameras. Everybody's, everybody's recording her. There it is. Just keep bouncing. I'm gonna leave you here. I'll see you in the morning. All right, here we go. Oh my God. Please don't hurt yourself. We still have another day. Are you kidding me after all that trash talk? You're sweating so bad. You weren't jumping as high as I was. It's also a lot harder than it looks. It's really hard. I think you might be in better shape than I am. No. Nice job, Steven. Thank Absolutely you, slayed it. I'm not tired at all. That is so ridiculous. This is like the most basic classic cruiser song of all time. Yeah. Okay, but it's so good and, and no matter who you are, you dance to this song. If you're on a pool deck of a cruise ship in the sunshine, you can't be mad, so. Relaxing after that sky pot, I should probably go take a shower, but I'm just gonna let people smell me. Oh, I see. Um, I'm just gonna get some editing going on and Wonderland is coming up next. We spent some time on the top deck and then we had dinner at Wonderland. Wonderland is this incredible dining experience and easily the most unique restaurant we've ever been to. I mean, just look at this food. We were in Wonderland for like 10 minutes, got some quick shots. I didn't even really record because we were just focusing on getting the photos. And now we're trying to run to catch sunset for a quick little TikTok. We'll show you guys if it works out. Just don't break a sweat. Cool. Walk cool. fast. Cool, cool, I'm like Be cool. <laughs> No, that's not what we want to see. Do you see what's on the bed? I don't care about that. Already? How is that even possible? Those of you guys that have cruised before know that when these luggage tags come out, it's not a good sign. They typically come out the last day though. We still have a full day tomorrow, so that's at least a positive. Yeah, but this was a long sailing, so people are probably really spread out in their stateroom. It's that subtle hint to like Start thinking stuff. about it, yeah. yeah. All right, so. The bad news is we're almost done. The good news is there's a full day tomorrow. There's a whole second half to this vlog. Yeah. We're gonna go to bed right now, but we'll see you guys in like two seconds. Good morning. Good Welcome morning. to the final day. It's the last countdown. The very last time that we're ever gonna be on a cruise ship ever again. I just want you to know that we all hate when you That's do That's that. how I feel. I, I literally, like, I'm, I'm that sad. I feel like I'm never gonna be back. Of course we're gonna be back, but it just, the last day is never fun. We're starting off with some breakfast on the balcony. This is literally one of our favorite pastimes. It's a beautiful thing to film, but it's also just really enjoyable. You've got incredible views, the sounds of the water. It also smells really good today. It does smell good. So we've got a continental breakfast here. We've got bagels, we've got donuts. There's maybe a fruit plate underneath. Pretty basic, pretty light. Yeah. It's a fun day ahead of us though. I mean, seriously, how you, you can't beat this. It's, dirty. it's not like, I mean, it's basic foods. It's not crazy foods, but you, you literally can't, you can't beat this. Look at this view. Listen, listen to the waves. It just doesn't get better than that, except for the fact that we've got a GoPro mount here. I stuck that on there. Hopefully Royal's not too mad. So this is it. This is the moment that we decided we're becoming TikTokers. We're going to stop vlogging. That's not happening. There's no more YouTube, no more Instagram, no more anything. That is not what's happening. Literally, I'm just gonna learn how to dance. And that's that's it. We're running late, so you guys are seeing this. It doesn't happen often. We're gonna take the elevator, which by the way, these are really cool. They're touchless elevator buttons. We're going to meet Erica. She works with World Caribbean. She used to be a crew member on the ship. Yes. And she was really, really good at TikTok and she kind of like blew up and stuff with like behind the scenes Royal Caribbean ship stuff. And they've since hired her as like their main TikTok, she's like the TikTok strategist. Yeah, yeah. She does all that stuff. So she's gonna teach us how to. No. Yes. No, I'm just kidding. We're actually really excited. Erica's super smart. She's super creative. She's gonna walk us through like the editing and some of the apps that you use and 
how to follow the trends and stuff. Like we watch TikTok occasionally. She watches quite a bit of it, but we have no clue how to make it. So she's gonna teach us how to but do I that. But I don't even watch like travel. I watch like dogs and fashion and cooking. Yeah, so. mainly, mainly dogs and cats <laughs> and pandas and lions and yeah. animals, fur furry things. Erica is awesome. She's a gym and she really helped us understand TikTok and you know, kind of how we could fit it into our current content schedule. Uh, we're actually pretty excited to start posting. We, we hope to very soon, so be on the lookout. It'll probably be linked down in the description. Boom, mind blown. She's so smart. Taught us like all the ins and outs, all the little things that like normally takes months to learn. She gave us the whole thing. We're gonna be TikTok superstars, mark it down. You're gonna manage it? I really wanna be good at it because it's like one thing off your plate and I feel like you're so good at everything else. Like, okay, that's... You don't really have to be, you are, oh, but like... We're going the wrong way, we're gonna really go this way. You don't have to be good at TikTok, you just have to like watch a lot of it and then kind of copy and I think I can do that. Okay. You guys go to like TikTok, let us know if we're doing a good job. We don't really know. We probably won't even have one up yet. Okay, so I had a surprise today. 75 minute couples massages booked. You booked one? We're five minutes late. Come on, no. let's go. Martin, Trevor. Okay, and Chelsea. Yes. yes. When did you come in here? Yesterday, I right before flow riding. I went back to the room. I actually had to go back to the room for something, or I was late. No, it was after well, breakfast. Being late to flow yeah. Sneaky. It's been a, a long it's week. It's hard to pull something over on me. That was. It is. It's, it's been a long but very exciting week. We're filling out our things here. I said I had an eight out of 10 stress. I have been kind of stressed this week with work, but um, yeah, this should be a nice treat for us. All right, so this is our massage room. I'm putting the camera down because I probably shouldn't even be doing this. Should be relaxing. Our girls seem really nice. I'm very excited. We'll see you guys in 75 minutes. That was the best massage I've ever had. And I'm not joking. Hot stones got super deep in the tissue. Ugh, I'm not a massage expert, but that was fantastic. We literally can't stay out of this place. Back in El Loco Fresh, made like a little bowl, chicken, rice, beans, cheese, hot sauce. I made like a salad. It's just, so fresh. it's so good. After a relaxing morning, we spent the rest of this afternoon mostly just finishing work for Royal Caribbean. We had some Instagram stories to do, photos to take, and then one final ride on the North Star. We did just realize we haven't been to the front of the ship yet. Like Typically, all. that's like, they'll have like putt-putt up there and stuff. I don't think I they have, have no it idea. here though. I have no idea what's up there or if you can even go all the way around. I just wanted to go see. So. Let's go Let's go explore. They do have a running track that we oh. ran on the other morning. Like you remember You remember that, that time we ran on it? <laughs> it totally wasn't just for photos. I think oh. underneath us is the, the solarium, the adult pool. And it looks like this is just straight up a track. Just so there's there's nothing oh, up here. Inspirational. Yeah, look at that. Oh, don't, and there's the gym. Don't give up. The other place we definitely visited every single day. Oh yeah, we woke up every morning. We forgot to intro at 3 a.m. every yeah, morning when we were in the gym. Yeah, I you guys about how we were like getting a sweat on before we started our day. Yeah. <laughs> so we made it to a quarter mile. Don't give up now. This is cool. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to give up on my way to the bar. It's moments like these with this beautiful sunset that I just want to say how much I appreciate you. Thank you for being there for me this week, babe. I just really, I've really enjoyed your company. It's, it's been a great time. You're not funny. This is actually the first beer I've had. There's one more thing we haven't done, and I feel like it would really be a sin if we don't do it. Do what? You gotta come with me. Get your beer. To do what? Get your beer. Just trust me. Wait, seriously, where are we going? Downstairs. Downstairs? Yeah. How far downstairs? Uh, one level. We've been working hard all week. I wanna just hang out. I, I think this is like, if we don't do this, I think we'll go to cruise jail. I genuinely have no clue what's going on. Are we taking a tequila shot? Yeah. Why not? This, this guy on the left is just as confused as I am. First time I put my feet in the pool. <laughs> we literally haven't been in the pool. I thought you had something really important to show me. Can you imagine going out for eight days on a cruise and your feet never even touched the pool we had? <laughs> feet have been in the pool. I'm happy now. <laughs> we made it. Oh man, we got some tequila water. We've got some champagne to toast to a great production. And I've got a beautiful lady across the table from me. I'm totally not working either right now. Def definitely not making sure everything's done, but we are here in Playmakers. It's the wrap party. We're done. 
Eight days is over. We're going home. I'm sad. But we're going to have fun tonight. Aren't we, Steven? We're going to have fun tonight, Steven? Uh, yeah. It's champagne. We're going to have fun tonight. It's 4 a.m. The ship's probably close to being in port. I just looked out to see if I could see lights and I could see like a little bit on the horizon. That's not good. Man, I gotta keep it real. Fort Lauderdale is the ugliest port in Florida. It's terrible. It's really not. It's, it's ter- look at this. It's terrible. There's nothing. I miss Miami and Canaveral. Anyway, it's not goodbye. It's see you next time. Here we go. We're all packed up. We're going to head down to Starbucks, grab some coffee. We've got a three-hour drive ahead of us to get home. But we also got to pick up the boys, so obviously we're excited about that. But, um, yeah, we're leaving. We realized we never really covered getting off the ship, so we thought you guys might find it interesting. Also, don't want to leave any stones unturned here. So you guys know we found this guy last night, and we found this guy earlier in the week. Unfortunately, we just kind of forgot to hide them. But yeah. we did talk to Alvin, our room attendant. He's been incredible all week, and he said he's going to hide them for us, and he has a couple of really good spots in mind, so I'm going to trust his judgment. Alvin, you better make them hard. If any of you guys find these by chance, how cool would that be? Yeah, let us know. Let us, let us know. Second elevator that we had to take. We obviously to. not going to... I mean, we could. We should have. Not going to. We just let people down. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I just wanted to press the invisible buttons again. It's so cool. Look at this. How crazy is that? Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Thank you guys. <laughs> and that how it's done. is how you get off a cruise ship. How cool are those yeah. little like robot things that take I your love picture? Those things. It makes it so fast. You don't even have to get your passport out. It's so nice. So that's a wrap on Odyssey of the Seas. Odyssey, thank you. We loved you. We had so much fun. Um, we did get some comments and questions and stuff on Instagram. Is she our new favorite ship? Um, I think she's my favorite of that class, but my favorite to sail would still be Freedom or anything in the Oasis class. Yeah, she's great. Don't get us wrong. Great ship, brand new, beautiful. I mean, highly recommend it. She's going to Europe to sail the Med next May. So we're hoping maybe we could potentially be on that. But um, I, I prefer the open airness of Oasis more if we're talking about the big ships or we have some smaller yeah. ones that we really like, like Freedom I and Navigator like, and stuff. I think it'd be awesome. She'd be perfect, yeah. yeah. There's just, there's a lot of indoor space. So that's, I mean, this class is mainly meant for like up in Alaska and stuff. This one has the extra pools and stuff, but it's, um, it's still beautiful. You can't go wrong. Yeah, I can't go wrong with it. Thank you guys so much for watching four videos on this somewhat dead channel hopefully we can uh, can bring it back we're running on about two and a half hours of sleep we're so we're giving the channel cpr the we're <laughs> yeah we're, we're gonna drive three hours home we're gonna go see our boys and girl and um we're gonna see you guys later peace out